Alright, so SummerSlam. I gotta answer pretty quick because I got total divas on a DVR pause right now. <clears throat> so your opening match was the Bray Wyatt match. So, you know, as they do the uh, at the end of the pre-show, pretty decent match between RVD and Ambrose. Match of course breaks down when all of a sudden the rest of Shield comes down. See so the Shield as well as Mark Henry and the Big Show on the outside. So match breaks down. RVD wins by DQ. Those guys had a pretty decent six man on uh, <clears throat> on SmackDown. So they show them setting up the ring for the ring of fire. Different from an Inferno match in that you just pin your opponent. All the same spots in a Inferno match, and you, know, you see a big spot, the flames burst up. They did try to pass a kendo stick. It was Harper tried to pass a kendo stick to Wyatt. They had it first caught on fire, it then went out, and then the fire department sprayed it. So not a bad match, you know. I was expecting more for Wyatt's debut, but I think what hurt this match a lot is beyond doing the fire, they kind of dimmed it so it was red on the inside of the ring. So it seemed like there were some spots where they were just, you know, just not familiar enough with each other, and they were just kind of a little bit off. That's more due to like the lighting aspect than anything else. But I will say, hearing Broken Out in Love in that size of a venue it was beautiful. You know, nice longer walk to it. And of course, they take an asbestos blanket, throw it over the flames, and they that's a three-man beat down on on Kane. He gets the I think it's a sweet Matilda, what he calls his finisher. Gets the one, two, three. They then break bring Kane out to the outside, stack the the, the stairs up, do the the head breaker again. Bray then actually lights the lamp with an actual you know, like match this time. Broken Out Love hits again. Now with the actual flame, they go to drag Kane out the back. Pretty solid opening. Pretty solid intro. Next match ends up being Sandow and Rhodes. Rhodes now has gone from smoke and mirrors being slow to back to its normal speed, and he's shaved. I don't know if I can cheer a well-shorn Cody Rhodes. Eh. Decent match, nice back and forth. You know, they set up their game a lot. These two had a really fast competitive matchup with Rhodes getting the victory. Now you're thinking, if Rhodes gets the victory, that means Sandow's going to cash in and he's going to become the new champ. Well, your next match, Christian Del Rio. Nice match. These two guys did a really fantastic job. You know, they've got a really nice chemistry, but they should. They've wrestled a couple years ago after Edge retired. Solid match, good back and forth. Christian just could not pull it out. Del Rio gets the, gets the victory. And then cuts a promo about how he's, you know, like like the Mexican hero. So I guess he's an American heel, but, an, but a Mexican face. Maybe that's a good way to have him be kind of heel, but then feud with either Swagger or Antonio Cesaro. Which might work. <clears throat> So that's, that's three matches in. I will explain the the Natalia whichever Bella match. You know, not a bad match overall. I'm really glad they went with these two as opposed to initially it was supposed to be the Bella Twins versus Natalia and Maria Menudos. It ended up being Maria and Natalia versus Ava Marie and whichever Bella is not injured for access. They showed bits and pieces of that match and it seemed... Decent. Decent for having two non-wrestlers. Two non-wrestlers. So the match between, I think it was Brie. Yeah, because there's Brie and Nikki. So it's Brie. Not a bad match. You know, just a lot on the outside. There is a spot where one of the Funkadactyls is attacking Ava Marie, and they're both down. And if you look, their high heels got interlocked, which seems really weird. Natty, of course, hits the sharpshooter, locks it in, gets a submission victory. So it's great to, one, see Natalia have a match on a pay-per-view. Two, see her get a victory. Mm. The mixed tag match, where it was AJ and Big E versus Caitlyn and Ziggler. 
this match is pretty good. You know, Kayla and AJ have a decent amount of chemistry. Big E and Ziggler have a decent amount of chemistry. But they just got the absolute worst spot on the card. They were in between Lesnar Punk and Daniel Bryan Cena. Now, Lesnar Punk was a ridiculous match. Again, no DQ, which is standard Lesnar match. Brutal, just non-stop, like pillar to post. This is what you want in this sort of match. You know, great use of drama, great use of Paul Heyman. You know, while Heyman can get his comeuppance, will he not? So they did that match perfect. And at the end of the day, Lesnar was just too much for Punk. Just like I said, you, know, you have Lesnar defeat Punk, and then Punk can then be like a guerrilla warfare style and taking out everyone else along the way. It'll work, it'll be decent, and it actually can build a really solid sort of foundation for a much longer sort of feud. So now we're at the John Cena Daniel Bryan match. John Cena, of course, you know, massive, massive elbow injury. You know, I'm thinking from his perspective, it would be this side. So you have massive elbow injury. Daniel Bryan and these two guys and him put on a fantastic match. Daniel Bryan doesn't get him to tap. He does hit this giant running jumping knee. Looks sick. Look at that sort of move that would knock somebody legitimately out. Gets the one, two, three. Center of the ring. Daniel Bryan, new champ. Eight's in the ring celebrating with them. And I'm going, something doesn't smell right. There's like 15 minutes, like 20 minutes left of the pay-per-view. Something just is, is not jiving right. You know. And just like shaking his hand, like hitting on something, like good job. Orton comes down. Orton begins to leave. Age hits a pedigree on Daniel Bryan. Orton rolls in, cashes it in. One, two, three, Orton Jr. champion. So for those of you who wanted that Orton heel turn, or for those of you, of course, who pretty much picked that John Cena would lose to only have Orton cash in right away, congratulations, you called the main event. Still would have loved to have seen Christian win, though. So I think having Christian win would have been unique, would have given a really good push. But I will say this was every bit a lot more entertaining than WrestleMania.